is the largest multi-sport event in the world. Bigger in scale than even the Olympics with 25,000 athletes competing in 28 sports across Auckland this April. And joining the cafe this morning to tell us all about it is World Masters Games 2017 ambassador and radio marathon yeah. man, Dom Harvey, <laughs> and CEO Jenna Wooten. Welcome to the show, you guys. Hey, yeah. Great to be here. As a matter of fact, um, radio marathon man, that was Mike's nickname for me when we were working together. <laughs> oh, was it really? <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't. No, 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 it no, wasn't. You, I like it, though. You, you like it. That's you would improve. You would improve. Um, Jenna, this is a massive undertaking, isn't it? I mean, athletes from all over the world to compete. I mean, how many different countries have you got? So we've got what athletes do? coming from over 100 different countries, and it is bigger in scale when we talk about athlete numbers than even the Summer Olympics. So we're expecting 27,000 people to be involved. Phenomenal. Where do they stay? Well, they stay right across the region. So we've got 48 competition venues, and some like to stay close to their venue, mm -hmm. and others like to be in the CBD. So you're not going to be able to miss them in terms of right across Auckland and right across the Waikato. I've got a big backyard. I could probably put a couple of tents up. You yeah. could. <laughs> for the overflow. You could. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, we yeah. should let people know. <laughs> no, but that's the beauty, I guess. There's going to be a whole influx of visitors. So we want to do a good job of this. Um, this is going to be fantastic. Fantastic, and to help with the recruiting has been Dom. Uh, thanks for coming on, Dom. Uh, marathon man. <laughs> are you actually going to be running the marathon, or have you just been recruiting people for it? Yeah, no, um, I've been um, roped in as a, an ambassador, and it's been uh, fantastic. So I'm going to be running the, um, the half marathon. That's the um, biggest endurance event I've got, and also the um, uh, 10K run. And uh, these events are still open, by the way, because it's sort of um, unlimited, really, as to how many people can do it. Wow. We should get you to do the half marathon, mate. Oh, yes. actually, I'll tell you what, I could be keen. Yeah. We should both do it. Yeah, thanks. Oh, no, he's doing, he's doing yeah. it. He's, I know Mike very well. He when goes, he says he could be keen, it's He goes, oh, not. yeah, that's good. Oh, was that the time? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Dom. Yeah, it's up. Um, so, Jenna, can you tell me how many, how many sports have we got represented here? So, there's 28 different sports. Okay, and how many can you still enter for now? There's a lot of them six. Closed. So, you've got the 10K and you've got the half marathon. You've got mountain biking, cycling. Criterium, triathlon, which I think could be you guys, maybe a team's a try team. event. There you go. And yeah. then you've also got the ocean swim, which is still on sale. So you can still enter for those, and you don't need to have any experience. This is the bit that freaks me out a bit. You don't need to have yeah. experience. So as long as you meet the minimum age, and that's as young as 25 in swimming. Um, you can register. You've just got to get in before the 31st of March. Um, but what we're saying to locals now is get in sooner rather than later because these sports are yeah. selling out. It's hardly masters though, is it? 25? Well, no, no, that's what I, that's what I wanted yeah. to ask you, Jenna. You know, what, what is the, 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 I guess, the qualification for masters? When people hear that word, they think, I guess, old, but it's yeah. not, is it? <laughs> yeah, so you're right. So, so each uh, international sporting federation sets the minimum age that you have to be to be a master in that sport. So swimming, that's 25. Rowing and touch, that's mm. 27. But typically it's somewhere between 30 and 35. It just sounds like so much fun. Dom, so you're an ambassador and you're with the likes of like Lord Sebastian Coe, uh, Sir John Walker and the likes. I mean, how did you... <laughs> Get there. Oh, <laughs> rude. What he said. <laughs> no, I, I think, um, I, I, I don't know exactly, uh, you'd probably have to ask Jenna that, but I, I sort of think um, I was roped in just because I'm uh, sort of like the everyman. Like, I'm yeah. not, not going to win. Well, you're not the everyman. Yeah. You're the everyman doing something quite elite. You do a lot of marathons, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but, I, but I'm, like, I'm never going to win an event or anything like that. So I'm sort of there, like, just making up numbers just some, because I enjoy it. Was there some stringent testing that you had to go through to get to be, become an ambassador? Well, clearly not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a quick Google search and uh, they would be like, oh, no, let's Hello? get somebody else. <laughs> OK, and who is the oldest competitor? So our eldest registered athlete so far is 101. No. And, yeah, it's crazy. What are they right? racing in? So um, she's competing in athletics. She's coming from India. And um, she's actually coming with her son, who is also competing. He's 75. So this sounds fun. And yep. speaking of sons and, and, and fathers, my husband is competing with his father, who's yeah. nearly 80, See, in the half awesome. marathon. Wow. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it is cool. Except my husband thinks, oh, I don't need to train. Dad will be really slow. I think his dad's been out there pounding the streets. Yeah, good, good challenge, I think. And yeah. that's, I mean, one of the things we say is this is a great event from grandchildren through to grandparents. What a and great bonding experience. Yeah, so many of the sports where you've got generations of families that are getting involved, it's going to be a really unique experience yeah. for New and, Zealand. And how good is this, this um, 100, 100 one-year-old woman, so she's doing the um, the, the javelin, uh, the 100-meter sprint, and the 200-meter sprint. Yeah. You, you wouldn't want to be. You'd want to watch where you stand. I think if you're measuring the javelin. <laughs> uh, I don't know how good her eyesight well, is. No. <laughs> well, well, no. Maybe I think a bit of a, a bit of a competition. Maybe we'll we'll line Dom up with, oh, with Mangur yes. from uh, India. I know who. I'll be see back how in. well you go. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. She's got a few medals to her name, I think. Oh, I, well, she's going to be one to watch. But that's yeah. a great thing. Everyone from around the world coming together. What an honour that New Zealand gets to host it. Congrats on doing such a good job to the
this point. I know over the weekend we met all the volunteers. Um, just remind people, how many volunteers does it take to run an event like this? Because we, we train thousands over the weekend. That's yeah. your job, isn't it? You're emceeing the oh, volunteers the training. training, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so we've got over 3,000 volunteers helping us to deliver this event, and they are a really critical part of making sure everything runs smoothly. And as you saw over the weekend, these people are enthused, mm. they're passionate, and they're ready to play their role in making sure that New Zealand delivers a world-class event. Wow. It's going to be fantastic, and if you want to find out how you can go and see some of it, we're going to give you the details. We'll come back and chat more about the World Masters Games coming up very soon. Welcome back to the cafe. We are finding out about the biggest sporting event in the world with Dom Harvey and Jenna Wooten. Now this is the Masters Games coming to Auckland and surrounding areas very soon. Uh, so we've talked about how people can enter, what it's all about. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, what if you wanted to be a supporter? A supporter's accreditation, Jenna, is the way to go? That's the one. So um, we are fast selling out of these. What they give you is access to the opening ceremony at Eden Park. Oh nice. And that's been done by quite a big name, isn't yeah, it? So Mike Mizrahi, yeah. uh, it'll be the largest laser light show that New Zealand's ever seen. So it's going to be That's cool. pretty special. Um, your supporters accreditation will also get you access to participant only parties down on Queen's Wharf. Um, and also the closing ceremony. So those are selling pretty quickly. Um, so we'd encourage anyone to get involved now rather than delaying. So you want to get stuck in. Yep. Now, Dom, obviously you are an ambassador because of your love of running and your marathon running. You say that saved your life. Yeah, well, Mike will argue that uh, running just about killed me. <laughs> but, um, I, I was running the Auckland Marathon a number of years ago, and uh, I ended up um, collapsing. And I was taken, yeah. I was taken to hospital, and they found this um, this massive tumour in my uh, abdomen area. Mm -hmm. So um, running kind of kind of saved my life in a way, because if I hadn't have been running, you know, I, I wouldn't have um, like fallen over that day. And also, um, yeah, the physical fitness that I got from running yeah. in the first place kind of like helped me help me going. get through yeah. it. What do you love about it so much? Because it's a real high, isn't it, running? Yeah, it is. It's it's kind of um, it's kind of like mindfulness in a, in a way. I mean, you know, you're out there and it's just a nice break. And when you're surrounded by by noise and you're doing like a, well, a radio talk. show, it's just a nice a nice escape from you know from people really. <laughs> surrounded yeah. by noise. Dom loves it because there's no people. Excellent. That was my life working with Dom. No, I didn't know this was a roast. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, so, uh, well, what are some of the big marathons you've actually done? Um, there's six in the world that are known as the World Marathon Majors, and um, I've done five of them so far. The only one left goes to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So I've done uh, New York, London, Boston, um, Chicago, and Berlin. So when are you going to do Tokyo? Uh, next year, next February. That's pretty cool. That yeah. is pretty cool. Jenna, what about you? Are you into sport? Um, yeah, so I played a lot of netball and um, a little bit of hockey as well. Um, and I'm a bit tempted myself around the half marathon, but we might have to wait and see how that goes. <laughs> because not only is it the everyday man entering this, these competitions, these Masters games, but there are the elite athletes as well, like the ex black uh, silver ferns and all sorts of things, isn't there? Absolutely, yeah. So we've got Olympians, we've got world champions, um, elite athletes in the mix, right through to everyday people who are just doing it as an excuse to get out there, be active with family and friends. Who's a couple of your Olympians? Uh, so we've got, um, there's a huge number, so you've got people like Sir Peter Snell. Uh, so you could go and people... run against Sir Peter Snell? Yeah. Imagine that. Well, That's he's awesome. actually, the funny thing with him though, and this is what a lot of people are doing, is he's actually playing table tennis. Oh, really? So not the sport that oh, he right. yelled in in the Olympics, but he's chosen to do something quite different later in life. Yeah, just, and... so just like Forrest Gump, like he's gone from being a good runner <laughs> to, <laughs> to being a table tennis Just like Forrest Gump. Yeah, yeah, we'll tell him that. <laughs> no, please don't. When you meet him, yeah, we'll roll that line out. But yeah, I mean, that's the neat thing. The only qualifying criteria is age. So people are able to pick up a sport that perhaps they aren't familiar with and they haven't done before and try something new. What do you think, Dom, people who enter this and participate in are going to get out of it? Oh, I think it's just—it's going to be—it's um, hard to imagine just what a big event this is going to be until it's on our doorstep. Mm -hmm. Like it's um, it's as big as the Commonwealth Games or the Olympics. It's yeah, bigger than what the Rugby World Cup a few years ago is going to be. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be like a great bonding experience with um, yeah, other sort of like-minded, mm -hmm. fit people from uh, New Zealand and right around the world. But what I'm concerned about with all of these sports, these elite sports, if people have no experience in them, is there is there room for carnage there? I mean, what what could go on with the sailing and things? Well, yeah, it's one of those things where we've been talking with these athletes over the last few years as they've been registering and as they've been training. And with every one of our sports, there's certain safety protocols and certain checks and balances right. that we have in place. 
Um, but yeah, I have no doubt there'll be a few hits and misses uh, out there. It's going to be great. All yeah, part of the is. fun. And great for New Zealand. And great, great time to be a physiotherapist in New Zealand. Oh, <laughs> a great time. It's going to be wonderful. Hey, thank you both for coming in today to tell us thank all about you. this. I'm quite excited now. The World Masters Games 2017 is more than a competition. It's a 10-day festival starting April 21st. For more details, go to worldmastersgames2017.co.nz. Thank you both of you for coming in yeah. and uh, best of luck. We will see you there. Okay, now.